I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. One of the biggest questions that continues, and I promise to talk about it, is just how you're doing so good during the day obeying God and getting ready for these temptations at night, but then about five o'clock, something clicks off, and the next thing you know, what you were convicted of in the morning, you're not as convicted of, or you think, hey, I'll start over tomorrow, or you, you, you lose your conviction enough to where you, over, you start nibbling, you overeat, you throw in the towel, or you uh, over drink and you throw in the towel and you're not gonna you know, get yourself back up until the next day. And so what is it that comes over you at night and what can we do about it? And uh, we've all experienced it, I know. I've experienced it, and I feel like, you know, uh, our days are busy, people, they work and they have their agendas during the day, and so it's kind of possibly more easy to, to be a little more disciplined at that time, but when, when, when it's time to go home, and you get home, and you know, you, you get on the couch, you kick off your shoes, you change your clothes, and at that point, I thought, maybe that's the point where it becomes a little bit more difficult to uh, be disciplined, because yes. You're relaxing. You're 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 settling in for the night, and that's when the cookies can come out, or you can sit and and overeat, or, or do the things that you were more disciplined at not doing during the day. Yes, I wasn't born a thin eater, and that was the way I was able to write this stuff. Is that you know I I I I had to figure it all out, and I once I learned it was portions and. Then greed is idolatry. Greed, there's something about greed. And all of, um, of you know, my life has been these, all these books and things will center around what is this greed that comes over mankind that makes us to where we overdo it shopping, overdo it talking, overdo it with pride, overdo it with... Um, you know, indulgences, the sin of the flesh, the sin of the eye, the lust of the eye, this lust. What is this greed? And it, it, it seems like it's so, so much of it's based on us um, thinking we're not going to get it the next day. It made you kind of panic. There, there's other things that made you panic. You dieting, all these years dieting and you can only eat certain foods has made thousands and millions of people panic about the evening. Now we're not dieting anymore, and so it's all about pleasing God, and guess what? If you just keep looking to Him, I mean, you're going to get there. And that's part of the keys for this nighttime eating. The, the key is that it's God versus, hey, I'm doing this for me or doing this for the children necessarily. I mean, doing it for the children, though, is great. That's or just stay on your diet's agenda, being confined by what the diet's telling you to do. You're doing it because of your... Of your connection with God and I think that's really the ultimate motivating factor that can help you more than anything. I can tell you for myself that the the major mm -hmm. thing that I want to do is to get ready for that nighttime and that's been that's been the most success that I've had is if I go in there and I get ready and I go you know what I'm not going past one glass of wine I am not I'm going to eat a small <coughs> I'm going to get a small plate, and I don't care where we are, if we're going out to eat or whatever, this is what I'm sticking to. And if you do that with prayer, it's like, it's, it's, it's magic. 
But one other thing I want to go into is looking on your watch and waiting 10 minutes. I mean, there's something about waiting 10 minutes. So I'm just going to say tonight, let's everybody start with the 10 minute rule and wait 10 minutes and then see if you even like can't, what, like, because you think, oh, I've got to start, like, I want a glass of wine or I want something to eat when I first come home. Wait that 10 minutes. The next thing you know, you may look up and it's six o'clock. And then wait another 10 if you're not hungry. And it's 7 o'clock. <clears throat> if you wait a little bit later into the evening and then go to bed a little bit earlier and put the kids to bed or whatever, you know, you're not, because your mind's going, I've got this whole evening to fill up. And this is my entertainment. This is my, and you just keep praying, God, please provide different entertainment. The next thing you know, you make it go through the evening and not have even eaten. It's kind of like beating that 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 impulsiveness in the moment, that in the moment impulsiveness to do something. If you can just put it off and do what you're saying, uh, oftentimes you might even forget what it is you you, you wanted before you try to not do it. You know what I mean? Before when you wanted that um, whatever it is that you were craving, if you can just put off that impulsive moment. And move past it, something else might take its place. And well, that is the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. Impulse. Impulse eating. It's impulse eating just to end. Think about how thin we would all be if we just killed impulse eating, no matter what we're doing. Like a lot of times, it's like, as soon as the prayer's over, amen, boom, you're <laughs> at it, you know? But just like lean back and just say, you know what? Any impulse eating, I'm going to stop it. And I'm just going to lean back and I'm going to pray to God and let the Holy Spirit lead me. One of the things that I, I experienced the other night when we were out to dinner, remember? Yeah. Um, it's easy to overeat when you're out to dinner because the portion size tend to be really big and you can just start ordering things. But lately, I've been noticing that, that I will eat everything on my plate. Uh, and you're just, you know, you just keep eating and eating and eating. And I thought, you know, and, and she, of course, being around Gwen really helps because <laughs> I've got the genuine article right here to help me. But I, I sat down and I, I literally cut my portion in half and I pushed half of the plate to the side. Remember? Yes. And and I ate, I ate half the meal and I said, I'm going to sit and I'm going to see if that satisfies my hunger because I really don't need all of this food. So I, I pushed it aside. I ate, I ate half my, my plate. And it really worked. I took half that food home with me, which I ate for lunch yesterday. Um, but uh, it works. It works. I, I only ate what I thought I might need. And I, I sat back and I thought, you know what? I'm totally satisfied. I don't need to keep eating all of that. It, it, it really works. And uh, I, I, I saw that for myself the other night. So. And then you feel good about it. Yeah. You don't feel so stuffed. You feel, you know, feel better and that type of thing. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to wait the 10 minutes. Everybody get your watches out, put, a, put timers on, whatever you do. I mean, let it tick and watch that impulse go away. It's the, it's the most beautiful thing God has ever made. He just He's literally testing you to see, would you just wait for a few minutes? And I, uh, there's a scripture I wanted to um, read to you uh, because... This, this is one of the biggest motivations to me is that you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for the glory of God. But in Philippians 2, in verse 12, it says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. This is why we're living. We're living for his, for his good. And, and says to do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life in order that I may boast on the day of Christ, that I did not run or labor for nothing, but even if I'm being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. That scripture is packed. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. I mean, we're, we're to be doing this 
for the glory of God. And then we rejoice. Do you realize you're going to be thin the rest of your life? If you just get in there and stop the impulse eating. So this was fun. Thank we you. love you guys. We're so glad that you uh, that you tune in with us. We, we love sitting here and talking about stuff. And I am the luckiest guy in the world, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. And thank you. The, the world's thanking, thanking God that you're joining because you're encouraging uh, me and we're encouraging each other and we all need each other. So it's beautiful. So, and, and we're encouraging you to keep uh, to keep going with your plight to either lose weight or to get under control of the things that you're you're trying to to overcome in your life. And uh, I know that that uh, I'm just going to speak from my own personal experience. If you put God in, in the middle of things, it, 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 it you, you just have such an advantage when you're trying to get things done. You can pray about it. You're going right to the source, right to your Creator, and it just makes such a big difference rather than using worldly, secular tools that ultimately can fail you. And so, God never will. It's beautiful. So keep the praying up, and then in the meantime, Joe and I and all the way down staff, we're all praying for you. So we, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you for living. Thank you for living. Thank you for living. Yeah.